Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a, with a, <laughs> that might have been too loud. I apologize. <laughs> with a hundred robs. A hundred. I guess, okay, okay. So macaroni made sense for its time. Mm-hmm. It Should it still be macaroni or should it be something else? Because I p- feel like people don't eat carbs like that anymore. Mm-hmm. I feel like people don't, you know. Yeah, they still eat macaroni on holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. But should we really be using macaroni for art and boosting up the macaroni industry (laughs) like that? Or is it somewhere (laughs) else that, like, we can allocate those resources? I mean, there's probably somewhere we can allocate. But I didn't know that there was a macaroni industrial complex happening. I didn't realize that. I'm always ready for a new industrial (laughs) complex. One thing about me, I'm waiting on an industrial (laughs) complex to pop off, no matter what it is. You know, paper straw, big paper straw. Big paper? Are y'all really helping us? Are you a conspiracy theory person? I'm not like a I'm be. not a conspiracy theorist, but I'll listen to them. You don't have one that you believe? I have I have some conspiracies <laughs> that I believe. There's some things that I'm like, all right. Like what? One plus one isn't adding up to two. There's some some NBA really? referee oh. <laughs> things, some VMA things, some like all mine are trivial. All oh, mine all are right. like, you know. The conspiracy is the distraction that's to somebody else's conspiracy. Right. Every conspiracy right. that I think about is part of a bigger conspiracy a bigger that real conspiracy theorists think about. Mm-hmm. Wow. Hey. Oh. <laughs> we have in the building Kara Connor. Wow, Ariana Grande. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your conspiracy theory with her? <laughs> I mean, there, there's some stuff going on with Ariana Grande now with the whole losing followers because she broke up a marriage allegedly, allegedly you yeah. know? <laughs> and so, hey, I, I could see somebody being like, but this is really trying to, you know, mm-hmm. make the country think that they have more morals than they don't. And, you know, so that they, uh, hey. You never know. Yeah. They politicize everything. That's right. They politicize everything. We can't, like, now, like, Taylor Swift is political <laughs> and, like, Travis <laughs> Kelsey. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Joe Biden uh, and, and, and Trump are talking about uh, t- Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. They don't have other things to be thinking about, I guess. They don't have other things to be thinking about. Are you thinking about straight for pay? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me if I was thinking about <laughs> Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about that guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm thinking about it. Yep. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> <laughs> Little sound effects me. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. But the album? Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Is it an album or special? It's a special. It was. I'm, I released Excuse my me. own. No, you're, I mean, I released my own album of that like a year ago. And okay. And now it's coming out. <laughs> now it's coming out. <laughs> now it's coming out as a uh, as a special next week. Ah, uh, that's um, smart. The yeah. the the audio before the video. Yeah, and it was a separate like it was a separate taping because I didn't know I was gonna get it. You know? Oh, so cool, I was cool. like I just recorded it myself like in Chicago and then put it out as an album and then so it's kind of like there's an overlap but it's like a different taping and there's like oh some different great material and everything so okay yeah what made you give it the same name. I feel like I've just been using that name for like the live <laughs> show and then like it is that hour. So it's like that's kind of like the the larger hour. And then like, you know, I would like work on it in like 10 minute like chunks or 15 yeah. minutes. So in a year, like it did kind of evolve and like some of the things I started to dig into deeper. But Got yeah, you. I think because like thematically it's the same thing, and then it's just it's just kind of easier, you know. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah. No, no, nothing against yeah. it. Yeah. You know, there you could you could have a totally different. Yeah. You know, aesthetic and everything, right. and then the core fan base is like, oh man, this is just like straight for pay, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could have you know them be like, oh man, this change, this you know, I wasn't expecting. I was mm-hmm. just expecting to see what it looked like, and yeah. now I got so much more. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, and your special, I just watched it as well. Congrats oh, on that. Thank you, Leash Kid. <laughs> I did. I did the opposite. <laughs> I put the the video out first, uh-huh. and then I'm like, all right, now people, if you want to pay to hear it, right? What you just heard and saw. Mm-hmm. 
come on. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the best. There's strategy. a lot of people. There's a lot I'm of people in the world. I'm going to just take away one thing at a time mm-hmm. and then charge for it and be mm-hmm. like, all right, now <laughs> we are only hearing the setups, right. not the punchlines. <laughs> yeah. 12 bucks. Yeah. Come on. Release the transcript. Just <laughs> You're release right, it. Right, as, right, right. You can put it as right. like a picture book, you little whatever. You want to buy a PDF? You want a <laughs> manila envelope to come to your house with my special in it? Well, 45 bucks. Certain people, like, you know, maybe like your grandparents, it's like grandparents want like the hard copy school photo. Then mm-hmm, other people, mm-hmm. they want access to a shared album. So it's like, you don't, you don't know. Let, let, let right. people decide. My first album didn't have physical copies, mm-hmm. but I would sell a vinyl jacket oh. Oh, just with the a jacket. download code okay. on the inside. Okay. And so it was just like, I know you're not really going to put me on the record player. Mm-hmm. Just put the album cover mm-hmm. on the shelf with the records. Right. You know. Did you, it have the weight? Was there like a false, like, did you put something? There, was, there wasn't was weight. Okay. There wasn't weight. So somebody's flicking through, somebody had a date over there looking through, then they would see that album, and then if they want, then they'd lift it and they... Right. Then they'd know. Or if they got a loose album. Right. Now they got somewhere to put it. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a really good point. Mm-hmm. So somebody's stashing their You got a loose 45 somewhere, and you're like, man, I really wish <laughs> this thing had a jacket. It's so cold. It's so cold. So you're solving problems people didn't even know that they had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now when you go to the vintage store, that one that's in that's a Ziploc right. bag, you can get that. <laughs> That's you can right. get that now. Yeah, that's always the one I'm going for. The one that's the most <laughs> scratched off as possible piece of shit. It's like a musical from the 60s or something. Okay. All yeah. right. I'll, I'll rock with a 60s musical, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what I'll do in private. I'm not going to let that like affect my spotify wrapped or algorithm but i'll listen to some like weird stuff oh on vinyl. so the so the undocumented <laughs> is in the vinyl Off the grid. yeah exactly. oh yeah. that makes sense yeah i've been searching for the vinyls that aren't on the the right the different streamers mm-hmm. um the streamer lawyers they're getting better and better it's harder to find <laughs> stuff that's not on there but yeah i should look for the weird stuff that's right so that hey there's no record of this it's private that's not anybody's business that's that's what goes on probably in pay for it in cash yeah well that's now the thing. now you really untrace yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you listening to? That might be the move. Go and yeah. get some. Go and get a weird album. Look, look at the weirdest mm-hmm. album cover you can find. Right. Pay for it in cash. Go mm-hmm. listen to it. Don't tell anybody about it. It's our little secret. Wow. Yeah, I mm-hmm. didn't think about the cash price. And then you have to get a whole job that will pay, or just like collect ten dollars at a time doing little spots around town until you can get like yeah. one, one. Or record. you can go to the automatic teller machine. That can track that. You though. could. They can track the transaction, right. but they don't know what you spent it on. Right. You know, you could have just, like, dropped that cash on the ground. That's true. Yeah. I they mean, Now they got to, like, they got to have pictures of you from outside the record store to really know <laughs> what you're consuming. I would do, like, a cash bag at a Walgreens. Like, I wouldn't even do the ATM. I just feel like the banks have too many. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just don't. Maybe that's my conspiracy theory. I don't know. Yeah. Use a bank. You still use banks? <laughs> okay, cash back. No, I, I don't do that. No, I like that. I, I like that ca- cash back. I don't back. have enough cash that I'm working Because the CVS about. receipt is so big that it's like, oh, you probably got a bunch of stuff, but really it's right. it's some cash back. Yeah, people can see the outline of it in your wallet. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> You think sense. anybody like when a private investigator mm. shows them the footage of themselves? Mm. You think anybody's ever been like, "I knew somebody was following me." One hundred percent. I've been, I've been saying, "Yo, yes. this car has been following me." Mm-hmm. Yo, you got to get better at your job, man. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna follow somebody, because they're the most paranoid people. Sometimes if you're doing something wrong. You're cheating on someone. You're stealing. You're doing something. You're gonna be thinking of. They're often that's why people are telling on right. themselves because they'll even say like, oh, well, if somebody was going to do that, they would probably not do this. And then they give themselves they tell themselves by accident. So yeah. Sure if you looking the all around. Right. Then you you in prime picture taking mode. Mm-hmm. People can get a good shot of you because you're looking all around. You think there's a lot of private investigators that are going around mostly is it cheating or you think there's all like independently hired investigators? Uh, I don't know if it's a lot. Mm hmm. But I also don't know, you know, 
I, it's somebody out there. Where would you go if you wouldn't want to? Where, are you going on Craigslist or are you going to try to? Do you have a friend that you would ask that you think that would have a referral for that? For me to hire somebody yeah, or for me to it. do it? If you need to hire somebody, where would you? Because if I did it, I'd do something goofy like put on a trench coat. Right. And then they'd be like, come <laughs> on, man. You can't be out here dressed like Scruff McGruff. Yeah. Yeah. You're too tall, too. You like, got a big like, magnifying yeah. glass, dog. What are you doing? Harriet the Spy. <laughs> yeah. You'd have like a McDonald's inspector. I see what gadget. I write. Yeah. I write what I see. <laughs> I am a S P Y. It's so convenient that we met her on the day that she declared she was a spy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Gully says. Oh, Gully, oh, Gully, oh, Gully. That was sad. Wait, that movie was actually really sad. Why? Because Gully got a better job. Did she? Or she got, I mean, she got fired. Did Gully get fired or did Gully, like, level up? Yeah. It was like, hey, kid, Mm -hmm. I can't walk you home from school (laughs) for a living anymore. (laughs) I got a real job. I'm sorry. You know, you're really weird anyway. You know what I'm saying? You might need to talk to somebody. I can't do it anymore. I'm just Rosie O'Donnell. Like, I can't really help you. I love Rosie O'Donnell. (laughs) Oh, my God. Rosie O'Donnell tried to get Trump out of here 20 years ago, Mm -hmm. and y'all laughed at her. Y'all made fun of her haircut. Now look at you. Look at the whole country. Look at the world. Damn. Rosie tried to tell y'all. Y'all were like, oh, she's secretly mean. Guess what? Sometimes you got to be mean to Donald Trump. Wow. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell, get her on here. Get her, yo, Rosie, the come by the show. Come on, do anytime. a crossover, Rob. Let's go. Yeah, we gonna talk seriously. about when y'all had that Jordan uh, brand fashion show in 1999 <laughs> on the Rosie O'Donnell show. Come through. I saw her one time at a bar. She was sitting there, and uh, it was like everybody was kind of walking up to her like one at a time and sort of doing like, you know, going up to the Pope. It felt a little bit like, and she was like very chill and seemed very, but I was like, wait, I was a little creeper in the corner. I would never go near anybody. So I just was watching the interactions, but she seemed very like grounded and like, but everybody was losing their shit. Did she do stand up? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she ever like, has the like itch to like to get back do it again? Yeah, it. yeah. I wonder that too. I mean, she definitely did it like for twenty. Pl- I'm sure 20, 30 years. I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they'd probably give her a Netflix special or something, right? Like they, right? Yeah, get her back up there. I wonder too. I don't know. I listened to her podcast. I know that when she turned sixty, she lived in Malibu for a year, and that okay. was something that she did. And she's like, she's very open minded. She likes talk. She knows a lot of people. So I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to tour. Maybe she doesn't want to do all that shit. Mm, so. mm. That's why you got to get her on here. I got to get her out. on here. <laughs> we get we get Zoom shows going. That she go in the know. living room and it's like you know, remember twenty twenty? Right. you know, just Ooh, tune that in. Was bad. Yeah, but you never know. Maybe she would say, "Well, nobody's asked." No one's Maybe asked. Just I've assumed, been waiting by the right? phone. They used to call me on the telephone right. when it was time to do a show. That's right. I've been waiting by the phone for like 25 years, mm-hmm. and no one's no one's calling me. Yeah. I Yes, I have a cell phone, but that's not for comedy business. Right. She just has a landline. <laughs> the comedy <laughs> club has a landline. I have a landline. You just do it on the land. You do have a landline? No, oh, I was I was being, being Rosie. Rosie. Okay, O'Donnell. okay. I got, I didn't yeah, know if you yeah, fell yeah. for like the spectrum thing where they were like, "We'll double your, you know, we'll <laughs> we'll bundle it for you if you want to do the landline." I would like, love a landline. Why? Whenever I'm in a writer's room with a landline, uh-huh. I'm constantly playing with it because <laughs> we never use it. No one's ever using what do you it. Play? Well, it's not like it's like a rotary. I got phone or like something. bits. I got phone bits. You know, oh like I'm God. calling who at like whoever we're uh, talking about. I'm calling them up on the landline, just over and yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. It's a big hit. It's a big hit. I believe that. No, so, yeah. It's I'll a, take a fake phone call. It's like but track not on a three landline. of my greatest hit room bits is is me playing with the landline phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can everybody hear the sound effects? Your eyes look psychotic. Are you like just hitting these right? And then I just like have no. Random you, outbursts of everyone laughter. can hear the sound right, effects. Right, right. Okay. Everyone can't hear the music. 
Okay. So there have been people on here that have just danced and not said anything over the music. Okay, great. And then they've been like just dancing in silence. Right. But everyone can hear the sound of it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm open to any of it. I just wanted to know for my own sort of peace. Yeah. (laughs) 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 What's your favorite color sky? I'm going to do Cotton Candy Sunset. Little pink, Cotton candy sunset. Little pink. It's like when the pink is starting to come in, there's oh. still a little bit of light blue. Then maybe you're getting a little overlap of a purple. Okay. I'm talking like 5.51 p.m. Okay. On the okay. east side. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think that. I like how you put that. Mm-hmm. Cotton candy sunset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The pink and the, and the blue and the purple. Yeah. I see it. Why I do see you it. ask? What's I ask everybody. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Is it like a personality test or something where it's like a? No. Oh. It's just I know I know other podcasts aren't asking it. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I want my podcast not... to be special, <laughs> so I ask people what you kind know. of sky they yeah. like. <laughs> okay, so you're really cornering the market on that. <laughs> no, way, yo, if They're Joe not. Rogan ever asked you about the sky, you They're know not. where he got yeah. it from. <laughs> Damn. See, I didn't know if it was like one of those things because you could ask people like what kind of animal, like there's like certain person that you ask like three questions, what animal, like would you choose this favorite time of day? And then that can kind of tell you like what they think about like their present life, what they think about death, what they think about the future. So I didn't know if it was like a psychiatry question. Answers. Mm -hmm. You just have questions. (laughs) I only have questions. (laughs) I have no answers over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. I'm just glad you asked me a question I could answer, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, that is the goal. I don't want to ask people questions and then they're just, like, trying to find the answer and yeah. growling for, yeah. like, 20 minutes and then, like, whoop, that's all the time we yeah. got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. So it's not a gotcha. It's not like No a... gotcha. No mm-hmm. gotcha over here, I don't think. Except uh, for the... So what's the thing with the trick? Like, it's like, isn't that your... The premise of the show, it's like... But we don't know what the rule is or what. Yeah, so, but the rule's out of the bag. So what's the rule then? The uh, all right, since you asked, mm-hmm. the the we don't look anything up. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. No Google searches, okay. no nothing. Just what's okay. in our brains. Okay, I like that. That's mm-hmm. good. I mm-hmm. kind of operate like that in general. Just in so, general, it's all you about never vibes. Google yeah, anything. It's all about- <laughs> If I'm talking, if I'm like, yeah, if I'm talking to my friends or if I'm like getting into a debate with somebody, I'm like, I don't want to know what it. Yeah, I want to know what is your what's getting you agitated? What is your heart and your brain? Like, what's your gut instinct about it? Of course, we can look it up. That's boring. Anybody can do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like when people are. Yeah. What kind of stuff are you are you debating about? Just debating about. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I get like heated about food or like. Just, like, opinion. I was talking to a friend this morning about just, like, our favorite spots in the neighborhood. What's worth waiting for? Like, how long Mm. should you wait for a bagel? What, like, just How long should you wait for a bagel? Well, if you're in L.A. and you want to get a good bagel, I feel like you do have to wait a long time. Okay, because it's competitive. Yeah, there's not that many spots. There's, like, a few good spots. But also, people in L.A., I don't think, know what a good bagel is necessarily. Shots. Okay. So they're... (laughs) Take that, L.A. You, know, you don't even know like bagels. That. Well, they don't. Y'all I be mean, putting donuts what? in the sky here because y'all don't even know bagels. But that's not who you're going to go to. That's who, If you're like, let me think. Like, I want to know a good bagel. Oh, let me ask my friends in L.A. who all have, like, <laughs> weird, like, diets and restrictions. They're not going to mm-hmm, know. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. you know, that's, true. that's, that's the true. kind of stuff that gets me, that gets me fired up or just, like, trying to diagnose people with different sort of, like, Psychology, you know, just I think I'm a clinician. I consider myself like a psychologist. So, and then you have psychology <laughs> debates with people. I think they got this, and then somebody else is like, no, nah, baby, they got that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> or just people we know, like famous people, yeah, people we know ourselves. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I yeah, the DSM. I just got it out, and I'm just like trying to go through and what's figure the out what's DSM? The, like the diagnostic statistical manual okay and so there's like it's kind of this whole big book they're always putting out new versions and that's where they have like all the criteria of like you have you know adhd or you have this and it's you're a sociopath like these are the the criteria that you have to hit interesting yeah okay 
Yeah. I um people often try to put me on the autism spectrum. Me too. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, but like I've never been diagnosed mm-hmm. and I've been here so long. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I don't know. Like people tell me I don't know. It's a spectrum, too. Right. So aren't, is it everybody on a spectrum? Isn't that how a spectrum think, works? Right. The spectrum would include everybody, right? The complete, yeah. yeah, working your way in. I guess that that that's actually a good response. Nobody's off the spectrum, right? Correct. Or right. else the spectrum is right. flawed. Right. Actually, that's a really good point. I haven't thought of that. Is it or is it like you got to sign up to be on the spectrum? Right. I don't think you. I don't know if anybody's signing it's like, up. Hey, no, hey, no, you didn't even good. apply it for autism. <laughs> so why would you be on the spectrum, bro? Yeah. Like, is it? Is I it, think people are being put forward. <laughs> yeah. I think you know it's hey, one of those. Your things. mom filled out the paperwork yeah, a minute yeah. ago. You, hey, I'm sorry, you on the spectrum? Yeah, it might be. I, I don't know. They never say, oh, so and so is high on the spectrum, right? Or so and so is like low on. They just right. like, yo, they there. They're there. They are there. They're there. That's that's enough. We, mm-hmm. I think we can all agree on that, right? Yeah, but, but your then, friends are telling you that. Well, not my friends, mm-hmm. but like <laughs> just people I don't know online. Jesus Christ! No, 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 not my friends. No, 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 not somebody that knows me. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Gotcha. They would have signed me up. Yeah, but, I don't yeah. know what's worse. I mean, so you have the experience of the strangers online that are telling you that's so they're what they're watching clips and then they're like, "This is what's going on." I think they're like mm-hmm. they're listening to me talk and mm-hmm. then they're like, "Yo, you, you man, you might you might be on the spectrum, dog." Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then yeah. Whoa. But I don't know. I don't get none of the perks. Mm-hmm. Like, I be hearing about these kids More on the, the spectrum. Yeah. And people will, like, alter everything right. for their particular <laughs> needs. Right. But then I'm like, if I had that, I mm-hmm. probably would have misused that and taken advantage of that. When you were because younger. Because I, I would have been, yeah, anytime mm-hmm. I, like, wanted something or mm-hmm. needed something, I'd be like, don't forget about that spectrum, no. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey. Mm-hmm. I need the crust off. I can't. Right, right. I can't eat bread like that. You know, <laughs> like I think I would have took full advantage in right. yeah in a negative way. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can give those accommodations to yourself now, though, like as right. much as you can, right? Or is there right, like right. certain things that if like you're, and that doesn't mean you're like on the spectrum or not, but just like certain right. things that are like more sensitive to you, like you can try. Like I have to wear like head. I feel like I have to wear headphones like out. Like when I'm just out, like at a coffee shop, like I don't like to hear like a lot of overlapping conversations mm-hmm. or like certain. I don't know. So there's like little things you can do for yourself, I guess. But I don't even know if that. Well, what would you have done if you lived in a time with mm-hmm. no headphones? I mean, I I think I did live in that time. I guess they existed. <laughs> <laughs> they existed, but you know, yeah. like I didn't always have. I didn't have headphones until I could like, I guess, have a job. Like I wasn't. Right. You know, my parents weren't like handing me like headphones and like ipads and shit like that so i think i definitely was doing that for the first you know at least 18 years of my life struggling i think what i was doing was probably uh was just kind of like yeah struggling maybe singing to myself a lot and then that makes people kind of give you space i used to definitely (laughs) sing to myself in class while doing work yes yeah like yeah Mm -hmm. i would be like freestyling i would Mm -hmm. just be or singing a song in my Mm -hmm. head like while doing math work and stuff, right? And I remember some teachers did not care with so much other stuff yeah. going on. Right. And other teachers was like, "You need to calm down." Yeah, yeah. And it's like interesting to have a teacher yelling at you, saying you need to calm down. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> are you okay, babe? Like you're mm-hmm, yelling at an eight year old right now, <laughs> like because they can't like sit in their desk like in this like very yeah. specific way with like thirty six other students around. I remember one time my teacher like uh, had to get on the phone and use the bathroom or something uh-huh. and like split the class up and we all went into like other classes. Oh, it wouldn't leave you alone. Well, no, no, no. Like, yeah, it wouldn't leave us alone. Oh, Nobody covered the room, okay. so it split us up. Like five of y'all going okay. here, five of y'all going there. Oh my god! And we went in another class. Uh huh. And I saw how like other kids operate, oh, and yeah. I was like, oh, they up, they be able to sing mm-hmm. to the top of their lungs. Like mm-hmm. this class is crazy. Oh, like yeah. it's somebody drawing on the walls. There's mm-hmm. some other stuff going on, and so then like yeah. the the kids that are doing their work are turned up. Yeah, no, it's like the luck. Of, well, because it's the luck, like elementary school, middle, it's the luck of the draw. Like what teacher you get? Because yeah, there was always the, everybody wanted to be in the teacher who had like the reading corner, mm-hmm, and they mm-hmm. had like 
pillows. There was one, and they had like a tent, and they had all this stuff, and you were allowed to just go and like yeah. lay there. And then like I had teachers where it's like you couldn't even have any personal items like in your desk or on top. So it's just yeah, it's not fair. It could have affected things. Maybe if we all would have been homeschooled. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I, I, I wouldn't needed, have thrived in my home school. I but. need to be around people <laughs> as, as early as possible or else I would have came out wild. I would have came out in a in a Batman suit. Oh, I would have came God. out just fully just mm-hmm. like I'm a crime fighter. What's up? I've been right. training. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you need it like you needed the socialization of like the peer pressure to yeah. sort of fall in line. I need to yeah. know what was what was okay. re- normal and and yeah. or considered, you know, mm-hmm. Just how to how to function in society without everybody staring at you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. where are you from originally? Chicago. Chicago, mm-hmm. Illinois. Heard Illinois. of Illinois? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that that was going. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. We, uh, Chicago <laughs> is important to people in our in our age group. You you yeah. got the Winslows live there. Yeah. Chucky, Chucky, you know, <laughs> Ferris right. Bueller, yep. uh, freaking Home Alone. Home Alone is huge. Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Oh, you yeah. know, the 94 oh, World yeah. Cup, Oprah. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's so much huge. going on. Yeah. Huge. Italian beef sandwiches. The Bears. The Bears. You know. Enormous. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, um, I love Chicago. I... I I feel like still very Midwestern in certain moments. Like I've been out in LA for like six years or something now, but there's definitely points where I like certain ways, like I think people, how people like behave, you Mm -hmm, know, that there's mm -hmm. like a lot of just like cultural, regional differences and like Chicago instills in you, like the way people park in LA and like parallel park, like on side streets that have like alternate side parking or whatever, like in Chicago, like you pull up, to the cars like you're touching the bumper of the car in front of you and someone's gonna pull right up behind you that far like if you left any space or like didn't pull all the way up to the driveway or whatever like your car someone would bash your windows in they are gonna like that's not acceptable but here it's like they find a spot and then well i'm good bye and they park like in a spot that could take up you know two or three cars Mm. Yeah, I'm never thinking about other cars while I'm parking. How long have you been in L.A.? I've been in L.A. since since 2019. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, and and uh, but I'm I'm from Atlanta. I feel Mm -hmm. like there's not like there's there's places to park Mm -hmm. many times, right? And so parallel parking is only really downtown, right? And like it's not super competitive. Everybody, you know. You you really can only parallel park where there's lines for the right. most part, right. you know. Right. So it's like, hey, actually, this is my designated spot. Right. But there's, like, the snow factor. So that's where it comes mm-hmm. from, I think, mm-hmm. in Chicago because it's, like, there's a lot of people. But then there's also, yeah, in the winters, people are digging out three feet of snow in front of their house. Right. And then you're going to come, like, some dickhead's going to drive down your block at, like, you know, 5, 15 p.m. And then they're going to, like, like, that's not going to be... Right, that's right. Not, and it's also work. like the snow is like, put some of that exhaust on my car, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's bad. Like, I used to have to, like, start I'm gonna my car I'm going to get right, so in, right under your muffler. Yeah. Please put some of that exhaust yeah. on my car. I need yeah. it to heat up. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, you have to turn your car on, like, 30 minutes, like, before. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. I, did, I did. I think people that have nicer cars probably didn't, but I have to put. You like, ever talk to somebody that never had, a like, a, a bad car? Like. And they're like, wait, why would you heat it up? And it's like, why would you you heat it up? How are you going to drive it? (laughs) Right. I don't know. I don't feel like I have that many, like, people that are close to me that, yeah, that don't have those. Mm -hmm. Like, even now, my car, I'm like, you know. (laughs) I'm too real for these conversations you're talking about. I don't. I'm, I'm only with people who who know what it is to, to crank their car and be like, "This might be the last time." Maybe. I mean, like, because it's like I feel like, you, like, I mean, my car. I don't have air conditioning in my car right now. Like, okay. that's not a good thing. That's not a good situation. Right. You know, and so I do think, like, yeah, there is like a certain level of like. I mean, I guess I have some friends who have like nicer car. I knew someone I was like friendly with, and then I found out that they got a Tesla, and I'm like, "Fuck you." <laughs> 
You know, like. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I do have a Tesla. No, you do not. Yeah, I do. Are you? And I apologize. Fuck you. When I, <laughs> when I got it, I didn't know much about Elon. I found out re- very Ugh. quickly a lot about your man, and I I didn't know. I didn't know what he was up to. I didn't know what his dad was up to. I don't know nothing about Henry Ford's dad. I don't know nothing about Honda's dad. I don't know I don't about know. any. I don't. Well, I don't know that either. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying. I don't have money to get a nicer car. I'm not saying I don't. Oh, like, oh I know about this. The had history. nothing to do with the politics. It's not even the politics. Tes- I no, don't know I about think... the original Tesla, except no. for he was around for the light bulb right, and stuff. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't like Elon Musk. I think he's no a, somebody. I think he's an idiot. But I parked in Hollywood. Somebody egged my car. And I was like, that that can't be for me. That's got to yeah. be for Elon. Right. They they egged my car because, or maybe because I parked bad. <laughs> I might have parked right. bad. Now that you now that you're telling me, and you're in that a you Tesla, could, I parked yeah. bad in a Tesla. Yeah, like it's it was like because like, that's the thing. It's like especially in LA, you spend so much time in your car. It's like when I've like rented a car or I'm in some, it's like people are literally living completely different lives. Like, you're not having the same experience. Like, my stereo doesn't work. I'm listening to my music on a Bluetooth speaker I got for free in a gift bag with the windows all down. It's like... And then somebody's in a Tesla and they're, like, cutting through all... It's like... Oh, that's not me. I'm not I'm not cutting anybody. <laughs> I, You know, I live my life the same way I drive. Hey, y'all, y'all going ahead. I'm, I'm going to let the exit come to me, so you know? So what made you decide to get... Is it just because that is like a very popular car, or were you like the electric side of it? Or is this there... gonna be real sad? Okay, <sighs> Tesla, the price is the price, mm-hmm. and I was getting bullied in car dealerships. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, w- with the haggling oh, and yeah. then the back and forth and yeah. stuff, and it just you know. Uh, also, my car died on the five, so I was without a car at the time. So I'm yeah. coming in, I'm sweaty. It's like, hey, they had man, you right where they, they had you. me right yep. where they wanted me, mm-hmm. ignorant and hot. Yep. And I was just like, I feel like they bullying me. I don't want to pay all this they money are. for it. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm just getting a basic car, but, right. like, they they make me pay prices that mm-hmm. are way out of bounds. It's not healthy. And it's like, <laughs> you know, I... Tesla, they don't do that. They just straight up, you know, mm-hmm. the price is the price, and I like that. Okay. And then they let me test drive one by myself. These other car dealerships, they were like, mm-hmm. you know, they were getting in the car with me. Mm-hmm. One of them drove me around. I was like, <laughs> well, now I'm going to know what, like, other people feel like. They, you're not even going to let me drive? The, you're not going to let me test drive? I had to yeah. test ride Yeah. at the at the uh, Toyota dealership. Right. And I, I was like, I had a Prius before. I was going to mm-hmm. get a Toyota, but they, yeah, um, it was a 2 it was an O2 Prius. Whoa. Yeah, so it was Prius almost Prius to Tesla. That's a that's a nice upgrade though. It was almost like 20 years old wow. when I got it. It was about 11 years old. It was the mm-hmm. first model, so it looked like an Eco, mm-hmm. but it was a Prius. Whoa. Tape deck. Wow. Uh also <laughs> air issues. <laughs> yeah. You know, some rodents got a hold of it and like eight eight you know some some cords for the air and stuff so you know i used to be real i used to be cool enough to you know right yeah well i appreciate you telling me that you do drive a tesla and not letting me like say a bunch of shit (laughs) for 30 minutes and then and it's like hey nice man yeah like god damn it yeah well i at least appreciate that you Mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. i'm glad to know there's some you know there's some nice people in there with teslas but yeah generally speaking (laughs) i'm kind of like come on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> General speaking, yeah, exactly. If you could live in any time, what time period would you live in? Is this a trick question too? No. Is this not this open ended? Yeah. This is scary. That's a scary question too because I don't know. So there's some big, there's some big areas of history where I think I wasn't paying attention in social studies. So I okay. would say something okay. stupid like, I would want to, you know, I would just probably. I mean, honestly, it I'd, it could be it could it be twenty sixteen twenty fourteen. Yeah. It I don't mean, gotta be. It might be now. It don't gotta honestly. be a big swing. It could it be might now. Be now because I think that like I don't know what the future is gonna be like, and I mean maybe now or maybe like a little bit before, like kind of going back to a little bit before cell phones or something, just because I think that I felt like I had a little bit more peace in my life, but also 
you know, we're not, I wouldn't even say we're really progressing forward that much. But yeah, I think looking back, it just seems kind of worse for most people the further back in time you go. So I don't think I would have an easier time. I wouldn't want to be like, even even like people that were like in their 20s, in the 80s, and they're out. Like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to, that's not, that's not a fun situation that I would want to yeah. choose to be a part of. So I guess now, yeah, in Los Angeles, like that's probably my best shot. <laughs> like, okay. You know? Okay. Not to, uh, but yeah, I think that's probably my answer. Gotcha. When I was gotcha. younger, I would have said like the '60s because I was like, yeah, I'm, I, I, w- I would be at Woodstock, and it's like I wouldn't have. I'm like so like. Do you go to festivals now? No, that's why I don't even know why that's my right. I don't even like I going hate to that. Festivals I hate that. a little bit. No, I don't. Like, I'm not going to a festival. I'm down to go. Yeah. Like I like the music. Right. What bothers me. Is the people the around people, me 100%. not being hyped for the music? And it's like we waited so long to mm-hmm. see this. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't like this person, mm-hmm. like get hyped. Cause yes. or else what did we pay right. for? Right. What are we doing? I don't right. know if I feel like Woodstock, the vibe might mm-hmm. not have been there. I might mm-hmm. be too turned up for for, mm-hmm. for Woodstock. <laughs> you know? Like <laughs> You'd be too tired. Yeah, yeah, they'd be like, "Yo, we gotta calm, we right. gotta calm him down." He, right. he out here wilding out. I'm like, right. "Yo, he got the moves like Jagger." <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? That's right. That was going what on. What did you just say? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not putting myself in that. Si- I'm not putting myself in that situation. There's no way. Yeah, I can very- even like concerts. Honestly, I kind of sometimes like. Also, the thing that happens, this is kind of a shame because I love music, but sometimes like I get scared to go to concerts because when I see an artist in person and then I see how they are in between, like I'm always watching, how do they say hi to the audience? How are they talking in between? Oh, yeah. And then I oh, get yeah. the, like, then I get so turned off. And then if they're kind of douchey or they talk to their bandmates not as friendly or they're, they have like a cocky, like, yeah. Attitude, then I'm like, oh, I can't listen to their music anymore. Oh, see, I'm it the turns opposite. It off for me. Oh. If they don't have like mm. some of those skills of like being uh-huh. like charismatic uh-huh. in between songs or talking, I'd be jealous. I'd be oh. like, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> I gotta okay. I gotta, you know, make right. the people feel good oh, while yeah. I'm while I'm doing my jokes. I can't yeah. just be up there and be like, No, you just know, be cool hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that's the tough part for me because then, yeah, it's like killed a lot. There's been musicians that I'm like, oh, I don't even want to listen there because now I know how they are and they're just like annoying. But some people like will win you over. That's true. Sometimes you'll that's be true. like, oh, mm-hmm. man, this person like, like, mm-hmm. like, fi- you know, it's it's so cool that like Thundercat humor has, has translated through mm-hmm. his videos mm-hmm. and stuff. But the first time I saw Thundercat, mm-hmm. he was so funny mm-hmm. just the way he was introing his each song right it made me be like oh i like these songs and if Even i received better. these songs mm-hmm. i would have loved them but i had no clue i would mm-hmm. also like the dude mm-hmm. and mess with the dude right. you know right um SZA, she kind of like glides and mm-hmm. like she's like she's like uh got a dancer cheerleader background and oh. it's like uh i i'm not sure after like her um injury or whatever but i imagine mm-hmm. she's gotten back to that point but there's like a whole physical performance right. that's there right. that i'm like oh that's cool like yeah she's like how she gets from mm-hmm. one side to the stage to the mm-hmm. other is cool you know mm-hmm. so i don't know it, yeah. it just depends yeah there's an upside of that i didn't even think i didn't think of that side of it and then it's also like always yeah like the people around i don't like yeah i don't i i'm i like when people are earnest like i don't like when mm-hmm. people they come to a space and then they're gonna try to act too cool or they get irritated with people around them who are excited or right like, right i know there's some debate of that of like some people should you be singing along at a concert no i came to hear this person sing and it's like but i'm excited i'm here so you know there's i don't want to feel like i'm like getting yelled at by some like yuppie couple who's like standing behind me or it's kind of yeah so then my solution is to just uh just you tell home. those people <laughs> They the biggest speakers they make mm-hmm. is for this. Oh, these are the biggest speakers. Mm-hmm. Period. They mm-hmm. don't make bigger speakers. Right. Maybe like a crazy jail 
where they're like, they got to like, hey, uh, so-and-so, yeah. They're like, that speaker could go miles, maybe somewhere in the middle of nowhere where they lock up right. the like the, mm-hmm. like the crazy people and mm-hmm. it's just miles and miles mm-hmm. of field outside of jail. Mm-hmm. Other than that, this is where the biggest speakers are. Right. I suggest you get closer to one of them speakers. Uh-huh. I'm about to sing. Whoa. I'm about to rap. I'm about to like... Belt I'm about out. To rap. <laughs> they there. They made it. It's the person that no, made it. I know. I, I know. Was, I want them to hear me right. hit the notes. What if they hear you and then they and then they call you up on stage and then you guys come become on? Friends. Have you seen Rockstar? <laughs> what? It, that's how. That's how Mark Wahlberg got called up. Wow. You know, See? stand up and shout. And then you know, Steel Dragon right. was like, "Who is that?" Right. He could be in the group. There it is. Next thing you know, Jennifer Aniston was going through it. <laughs> she's okay. Jennifer, you ever seen that movie? You ever seen Rockstar? No. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. You going to do a sound effect now? No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to call Mark Wahlberg and let him know. I the burger guy? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> yeah you know Wahlburgers? Uh, man, it wouldn't even happen if this movie hadn't uh, come out. Guaranteed. <laughs> I don't know. Is this the, is this the... Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. I do feel like I got a flash of you at a concert though. Like you're like you start saying somebody asks you to shut up and then you get into this whole you start saying all this stuff about the technology <laughs> and that's why they and they're like, please man, okay, just stop telling like I just keeps it's better. I liked it when you were singing and not like putting that energy towards me at least. Please, just okay, whatever you want to do. I'll <laughs> please God stop telling me about speaker technology upgrades and why and the fear the force is like, yeah. Yo, the sound waves be bouncing off the <laughs> back like, and please, it's God. like, yo, the forum is so big. Yeah. Like, they're, like, <laughs> they're like, please, just like let it be. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry I said anything. God, I'm regretting it. I will never do that again. So it's a good strategy for that, at least, you know. <laughs> um, I don't I don't like the standing up for a long period of time mm-hmm. and the lack of chairs. Mm-hmm. I do like sitting in a chair. And sometimes at a concert, mm-hmm. I will sit down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I sat down at a Drake concert and this lady started like flicking me in the back of the head. Yeah. Because I think she was thought I was being disrespectful right. to Drake, you right. know. But also Drake was like taking shots at like a rapper I like at the time. Oh. And I was like, I don't want to stand for this. I'd rather sit down right now. Mm-hmm. And then I started getting flicked. And mm-hmm. I was like, I am at Drake's concert. This is wow. great. This is- Where was it? What city were you in? Atlanta. Oh, okay. Okay, and so they took it as a sign that you were just, but you were just like, I'm just resting my feet. I was resting my feet, but mm-hmm. I did rest my feet at a song. I, I, you know, there's certain mm-hmm. songs I'd stand up for. There's certain songs right. I, I kind of sit down. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you were kind of like, if Drake was paying attention, you were really letting him know how you felt. I was about letting him. him know, like, hey, dude, <laughs> I don't like what you said about. Uh. Other rappers that uh-huh. have said crazy things about you. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting down, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know Drake from the Degrassi days too. Were you Were you watching? Degrassi I was at all? not a big. Okay. I was aware of what was going on mm-hmm. on Noggin, and then you Noggin. know the the cooler H-O. version, right. the end. You uh-huh. know, but I uh, I wasn't really tapped into Degrassi. Okay. I kind of knew what it was, mm-hmm. and the people I knew who watched it, mm-hmm. I knew who they were. Oh. <laughs> And I didn't know that, like, there would be a lot of, like, crossover. I didn't right. know Degrassi was going to be around. Like, had I right. known that the the future of rap was going to be You were going to be paying attention a little I bit closer. I would have been locked in. Yeah. But I was busy watching. I was r- watching Rap City. Right. I, w- I thought right. I was going to find the future of rap there. Right. Not, not on noggin. Not like a Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Not like a Canadian child star. Right. Right. Yeah, right. Who was like? Yeah. I mean, it was on like HBO too, wasn't it? Or it was like it was like weirdly hard to watch. I feel like when I was a little bit younger, it was on noggin. Mm-hmm. The the Nickelodeon like oh, Nickelo- okay, it used yeah. to be Teen Nick. Okay. And then they turned it into noggin, mm-hmm. and then they turned it into the Inn or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. But yeah, it was uh, at least that's where it was. For, that's what I remember it. Mm-hmm. And then later, it, 
They like when Drake came out, first came out, they would put episodes on MTV. Okay. And I would see that in the morning as I was getting dressed to mm-hmm. go to like college or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. this is this is the uh that's the Drake show. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I lived in Toronto for a while. Like that's where I started. Uh... Like that's where I started comedy and everything. And so the whole like I mean <laughs> And so, like, that's, you know, that's, like, a whole other level, right? Like, you kind of, when you live in Canada, like, you kind of are expected to learn a little bit about, like, anybody that's famous, that's Canadian, you kind of have to have some baseline understanding, I think. Mm -hmm. And I Mm -hmm. lived on Degrassi Street for a little while, and then I thought that that was, like, really exciting. Okay, okay. (laughs) These are the things that really get me, uh... (laughs) Got you. I didn't. You know? I didn't know you lived in Toronto. <laughs> have you been to Toronto before? I have been to Toronto. The six. Do you like it? That was the first time I saw one of those exit signs, and it's just the dude running out of a door. Oh. Instead of saying exit, <laughs> they have them on planes now in America, and I was like, "Yo, this is wild! Like yeah. this dude is taking off! Uh-huh. Like this is not like, right. hey, you could walk out of here. This is like, mm-hmm. this is where you escape from. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Yeah, it's a very efficient country. His his <laughs> leg is like like halfway in the door. It looks like he's about to hook the door and close it behind him. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I liked it out there, except for the, you know, only the weather. That's my only thing. Now I'm spoiled, like, living out here. But Toronto's, Toronto Toronto's, weather, pretty cold, pretty yeah, cold. But Toronto's amazing. It's a good it's a good place. And Drake obviously has a lot of pride about it. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. Know, he's always, uh, he's always going to work. <laughs> yeah, he's always. <laughs> he really put us on the map, so... Really? No, I don't actually know if I, I I take that back. We're not googling anything, right? Though. I feel like I feel like Vince Carter put Toronto on the map. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I think like it just it probably depends who you're uh who you're talking to. I mean, what about Ryan Gosling? You know, he's a I well, he's I Canadian, just found I mean, out he's right now that he's from Toronto. That he's, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Ryan Gosling's Canadian. from Toronto. I don't know if he's Toronto or is he Canadian? He's Canadian? He's definitely Canadian. Get out of here. I don't know if here. it's Toronto. So is like How did they get it? They because he was in the Disney, he was in right. the... Right, um... uh, that's what I'm saying. He went all the way from there to mm-hmm. Orlando. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's nuts. Yeah. And I think he was like I think he was like uh not like adopted, but there was some kind of like guardianship thing. Like Justin Timberlake's like mom like was like a little guardian for him for a little while, so that get he could out of here. Yes, yeah, so that he could be like in Florida doing the Mickey Mouse. Oh club man, and, yeah. Yo, there's a video mm-hmm. of JT, yeah, JC, mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling, mm-hmm. and another guy mm-hmm. singing Jodeci <laughs> on the God. Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. And they are wearing linen outfits. It's mm-hmm. so it's so 1993, but oh, also yeah. like this song is way too sexy for some oh, little boys. Yeah. But also like the like you know they hit the scream button in mm-hmm. the crowd, so like mm-hmm. the girls are screaming. Oh, they're going crazy, yeah. But they got a fan. They out. Oh man, they yeah. out there. And Ryan Gosling is smooth. He got yeah. like the little '90s hand, yeah, like while he's, he's a singing and stuff. Yeah, that's how man. we got Ken. You know, people were like, and it's like this guy's. He's been doing this since he was like eight years old. This is like his whole. He's a he's a song and dance man. It is sad <laughs> that the that you know they didn't nominate everybody for Barbie. <laughs> It is sad <laughs> because Ryan should get his props. He did his thing mm-hmm. in that movie, mm-hmm. but also, you know, Margot should get her props. Mm-hmm. You know, Greta should get her mm-hmm. props, especially when you look at all the, all that went into that movie and like yeah. they built the thing for, you know, yeah. like there was no I don't know, I you know, my my little cousins, they mm-hmm. watch Barbie content on mm-hmm. Netflix, but it it don't seem like that that's the lore. Right. It don't, right. You know, I never read the paragraph on the back of a Barbie box, no. but I doubt it was like reference Stanley Kubrick's <laughs> 2001 A Space Odyssey. I don't think, I don't know. think that's how it starts. I don't think you so. know, yeah. like they did some cool stuff with they it. They did. They did. And they, yeah. But uh, it sucks because that's not even the type of movie to get those kind of mm-hmm. nominations. Right. No one ever complained like, man, Mark Hamill ain't getting nothing for Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like right. like certain movies just right. don't get looks like that. Mm-hmm. But Ryan Gosling did 
he did an excellent job. I was like, yo, he he out here acting, he out mm-hmm. here singing, he out mm-hmm. here performing. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, he was doing the crunches. He was putting on. <laughs> he was He's getting the spray up. tan. Yeah, yeah. He was doing the whole thing. Shout out Ryan Gosling. Come by the show. Yeah. Hopefully on a day that Rosie O'Donnell's say, not there. Oh. So then that way we can have like high rated episodes. But that's selfish. It's selfish. If y'all want to roll up together, y'all can roll <laughs> up together. Oh, just to spread the wealth. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm already, you know I was what? like, could Ryan and Rosie not be in the room at the same time? <laughs> nah, they could definitely like be in the along. room at the same along. time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, be an R-Cube situation if you guys all got in there at once. He's in Remember the Titans. Wow. Ryan Gosling. That's what I'm saying. This guy's been Come like, on, man. he's been working. I mean, obviously another famous Canadian, Justin Bieber. I mean, he got discovered when Who? he was... No, I'm just I'm just playing. I've heard of Justin Bieber. I get so emotional for no reason. I don't even. I'm not even like. I'm like, what the hell? Why put some respect know, on man. his name? Care left. I don't know. I, I disrespected the Biebs. You're not a believer. I didn't know. I, I'm I'm a, a little bit. Okay. You know, there's certain there's certain Justin Bieber things that are that mm-hmm. are undeniable. Mm-hmm. You know, like what? Like. When you start with the with the with the little bowl cut, this 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 rang off in the streets. Oh yeah, I don't know this where 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 you were at in the this town. I don't huge. know what yeah. country you were in. If you was in the United States I or think Canada, it been, I think this would have been Chicago. I think so, right? I mean, when would this have been? Like, is this like twenty? Is this like two thousand and seven? This like in there in a, in the oh eight oh nine ish. Yeah, because this was like when Hannah Montana was just kind of flipping into like. Miley. Oh, that's when the Jay Z song was on. Oh my God! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, then that. Yeah, then that must have been a little later. Maybe that was like yeah, two thousand and nine or yeah. something like that. But no, I mean. Uh... Live. I don't want no no party in the USA live. Dolly Parton's goddaughter, right there. She's she's oh well that makes sense mm-hmm. yeah because she was probably born in the in the achy breaky heart era right mm-hmm. right yeah so that that's when Billy Ray had the most juice mm-hmm. yeah I don't know if she's still I don't think she's still uh because what was the words that just happened and she like didn't think she it was like named that you know she specifically did not think her dad or her parents like because I don't mm. think she, I don't think she's in touch with the whole family really but I'm not gonna look it up. So I don't know. Man. <laughs> but I'm I would sure. hope that she'd have the best of both worlds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not, though. You're actually not. <laughs> like, you're saying the word, but it's like, you're the te- like, you know, you're not. Like, you're, I'm you're so not. sorry. I'm going to cry about Tesla. Yeah. Oh, my God. I really can't. I'm not over that. It's... Oh I, it will never happen again. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm no, never, it's I'm... fine. Maybe I'm just, I mean, maybe I'll get a Tesla one day, you know. Yeah. I'll get the truck. I'll get the one that looks like the military. The cyber truck? <laughs> the one that Kim K has, right? Or that mm-hmm. she was paid to do, like, the commercial for or something. Did you see one uh, crashed into the Beverly mm-hmm. Hills Hotel mm-hmm. sign? Yeah. What's that about? I thought that was a conspiracy theory. Because mm. there's all the self, right? Like, don't they have these, like, the self-driving or that somebody, like, overtook the technology or that's a convenient excuse i think if it would have been a big crash and mm-hmm. it would have like damaged the sign or right. damaged the vehicle it'd be an iconic picture <laughs> i think somebody was trying to get an iconic picture off I think... but then they got scared yeah and then they they were like right. I, I don't I, oh man it's stuck yeah the only way to know if it got an iconic picture is like go down to the venice boardwalk and see if they have any like uh spray paint like <laughs> recreations of it yeah yeah you know like that you can buy from somebody or a mm-hmm, little t-shirt mm-hmm. that's how you know um the my car has fought me when i've been on a cliff because trying to parallel park or whatever oh my and it's God. been like you can't like it would like turn the wheel in the mm-hmm. other direction i have to like fight my vehicle to just like let me park right but yeah. it, that's a safety feature isn't it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Do you ever think mm, maybe there's a reason that it's trying to tell me not to park here or you're like i have to park here and it's it's worth no i think it it doesn't know what right. i know right like i i've, <laughs> right. I've parked here before oh i see it's okay. just like there mm-hmm. there's a place to park mm-hmm. it's just dirty right now mm-hmm. and so it's thinking ah uh, this is in the dirt mm-hmm. and you know 
I'm not supposed to be in the dirt. And right. it's like, no, nah, you're going to get dirty today. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're not listening to it then? Only in that particular mm-hmm. instance. For the most part, sometimes it warns me about stuff. Right. And it's like, ooh, and oh, you man. And see it. Like the yeah, 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 yeah. Like it, will, it will beep and, and, you know, make different noises. And I'll be like, oh, man, I really <laughs> got to pay attention. It's beeping all the time. I don't even know what this. <laughs> it's, it's, God, I, I wish I knew what those you know, noises meant. Your car is meant. always beeping. And then people are always <laughs> honking at you and stuff. And it's crazy. It's you like just... I'm just trying to coast <laughs> on the highway. I don't yeah. know why everybody is just, you know, just being so extreme. Down the it's it's <laughs> Only eight in the morning. Why is everybody yeah. being so extreme? You should look it up. See what those some of those beeps mean. It might be something you want to know about. People are <laughs> could be worth a Google. Giving me the finger <laughs> just for driving. You know, the car is always like, "Let me drive, please." Like, no, no car. Oh I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> well, uh, is is there anything that you want the people to know about the special that you have coming? When is it? March twelfth. Coming. Yeah, it's coming out on Tuesday. Tuesday. It's coming Tuesday. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Out of I the mean, way of all the Oscar stuff, that's you know. Right. No, once know. once we have that's Oscar a... fatigue, right. then it's like, man, I right. need I need to switch it up. I have to switch straight it from up. Pay. Yeah. What's I mean, it gonna be on? It's gonna be on Apple TV. It's gonna okay. be on Amazon. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. I mean, it's basically it's it's kind of like a a per, it's it's sort of about my like personal story of like getting straight married and then like getting gay divorced and realizing that that's like not you know what was. Uh, really supposed to be happening and then just kind of that whole like journey and everything so it feels pretty like i think i'm feeling more vulnerable or like a little nervous about it than i think i was anticipating but i'm excited it's because i care it's like one of those things but you know i'm really excited about it it's like i've like brought it all over the place and done it so many times so it's like actually exciting to feel like there's gonna be like a final you know, product and like mm-hmm. hopefully some people watch it and that's like that's the goal. But I'm trying to take some pressure off of myself and it's just like yeah. I'm trusting, you know, people will, the right people will find it and like that's I think that's the thing. I'm just hoping like the right people find people who wanna like have a good laugh, not like weird like incels like on Reddit who are just like <laughs> You know, shit like that. But then, uh, cause then I'm gonna have to go on Reddit and I'm gonna have to make like a fake profile and then mm-hmm, start kind of mm-hmm. catfishing people. I get involved in the FBI. I don't know what's gonna go on, so I gotta. You would catfish you know I mean? your your ops on Reddit. <laughs> I like I that. I might. I might. What? I'm not. I'm, you know. Would you invite them all to the same place? Because oh, that might be to, funny, yeah. but then also they might organize. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I, I'm like. I passively like look through Reddit all the time. I've never like posted anything, but I will like, you know, I don't I, even know how to post. Yeah. I mean, cause I feel like if you don't, I think you have to just have a profile and then like you can start, but then it'll kind of like get buried. But I got the incognito tab open, which probably doesn't even do anything. And then I'm just mm. asking the craziest questions. And then there, you know, there's no weird question. That's, that's definitely true. When you go down the Reddit rabbit hole, like you can be the most specific, like I was watching this movie. I noticed this guy and he was wearing this thing and I feel like it's, he's related, you know, and then people yeah. will, they will educate you. <laughs> and if you don't check their sources, like then I'm like, wow, all of this is true. <laughs> this is amazing. This person said. <laughs> that is the fun thing about the internet. You can yeah. find three people to co-sign almost anything. Perf- yeah, yeah, confirmation bias. I'm like, hey, mm-hmm. and that's what I thought, and that's what it is. And my search is done. <laughs> like, I, got, I found what I wanted to hear, and that's mm-hmm. it. Remember the, the like, <laughs> Yahoo Answers days? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, those are, let me tell you, those are still happening. Yeah? Yeah, that's if you want, if you want the opinion or the answer from, like, a boomer or up. That's okay. who's kind of going in there because people will still or like TripAdvisor, like there's there's people that are very, mm. I think, still active on those forums because sometimes yeah you'll type in a question and then Yahoo answers come up and you're like that can't be the top, <laughs> right, <laughs> that, right. That's the most clicked on answer, right. you know. I love when there's an argument and then right. I'm like, well now I definitely don't know the answer. No, exactly. These people are typing paragraphs at oh, each yeah. other. They're calling each other names. Mm-hmm. 
or like Quora. I don't know if I'm saying it right. That's kind of the other one that always comes up. What's that? It's like another like one of these like people ask like ram. It'll be like anybody else is like you know Instagram keep crashing when they try to do this, and then people try to like help them. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's all like yeah, it's very hard to know if it's bots or if it's this. But I just take whatever the top answer is, and then that's and then I take that, and then I just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where can the people find you? Uh, you know, on Instagram, I guess that's kind of the main one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kara Khan's comedy, CCC. That's that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Got well, I have you've done it. I mean, you've done my straight for pay show because I everything's gonna have the same (laughs) name. And, uh, and it was so much fun. Yeah, I it gotta was have a you back. Blast. Yeah, we'll yeah. definitely have you. We're gonna do it as a monthly now, instead of oh, a weekly. Um, so yeah, that's coming back now. Also next week, I'm trying to get next week as packed as possible, just so I can kind of get my body really worked up into a fight or flight state. <laughs> so okay. I'm just at okay. A sustained level for the whole week. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, just to be promoting constantly. I'm not. I'm not really happy or at peace unless I'm constantly promoting, reposting. That's all. That's that's what I came out here to do. Mm-hmm. And I love mm-hmm. it, and I'm grateful for it every day. Heck yeah! <laughs> well, thanks so much for, for, for coming me. on the Inconsistent Podcast. Um, y'all, please check out the special uh, March 12th, straight yeah. for pay. Apple TV, Amazon. Also, if you haven't watched Fronten, check it out. <laughs> yeah. It's a, also, you know, if you haven't bought it, buy it. Just buy it. You know, click on it. You don't have to watch it. Just like click it. on it and Save let it, it play and right. then walk in the other room, yeah. cook dinner, do something else, and then like come back and you know right. send it to people who right. you haven't talked to in years. Engage with it. Exactly. Yeah. That's all you that's what you gotta do. You gotta they do can't do that. Send that, for that you? link to somebody you ain't seen in years. Why is that? Yeah. Jesus Christ. And with no context. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just mm-hmm. send them just, your just send it. Yeah. Yeah. And be like, we need to talk. I'm gonna do but that in my watch car. Watch this first. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about a lot of weird shit, so I don't. What are they gonna think the yeah. secret message? And then block. Well, you gotta block them after you do that because they're gonna have questions. But like, you You're know, like, would you buy a mouse? You buy a grasshopper <laughs> mouse, or what did you say? <laughs> it's been the inconsistent podcast with Rob Hayes. Nice.